I call them my bad intentions. They never crossed me like bad pedestrians. I've been this awkward since I had the dances. I don't know how long I had depression. Never know. A follower story and Saba. Hi, Saba. Hey, how goes it? How it goes very well. Thank you so much for having us. Much appreciated. We're gonna go straight into it. For my audience who is not familiar with you, who are you? Where are you from? And what do you do? I'm Saba. Mm -hmm. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm and I uh, do a lot of things. Uh, I think most notably I'm a musician and that's probably why I'm here right now. Exactly. Uh, but you know, I, I do a lot of things. You just kicked off the Care For Me tour in Europe. Absolutely. 17 stops. Brussels is your third stop. You already lost Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already. <laughs> I've been lost since the first day. Um, any first impressions from the cities you did visit so far? Maybe some fan impressions that stuck by you? Uh, yeah, the fans out here have been, they've been going hard, man. They've been really, uh, How so? just really energetic, really excited about our movement and really like in tune, you know, like by it being so far away from them. Like mm -hmm. now that I'm here, they can look at me, they can like reach out and touch me. I'm like right there, it just feels, it feels different. Like even comparing this one to the last time we came over here it's like a completely different, different. experience yeah. okay so by now the fans already know the lyrics by heart a little bit mm -hmm. it's getting there yeah so far we've only done uh we've done two germany stops yeah okay and uh yeah the, English, not yeah 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 that's what i was Sorry. that's what i was trying to word in, in my head while yeah. still being uh you mm -hmm. know fair but they were loud and they they it was actually pretty on point. They were just as loud as a lot of the American shows that I've played singing the lyrics. So Let's talk about your early beginnings. You mentioned Bone Tugs and Harmony as the group that made you want to become a rapper yourself. Is that yeah, correct? That is okay. correct. Um, can you elaborate on that a bit? Why Bone Tugs and Harmony? Because that's slightly out of your era, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That was honestly like I, I remember getting introduced when I was like pretty young, maybe like seven or eight. And uh, my older brother was playing a Biggie song and it was a song with Bone Thugs and Biggie. OK. And they're they just rapped. I'd never heard anything sound like it. Like they rapped really fast. I couldn't really understand it. And then they like sang and rap. Mm -hmm. And it was just really cool to me because it was like a lot of rap like even like back then to me a lot of rap sounded the same so it wasn't like a lot they definitely stood out uh, yeah they they, sure. they stood out and and it was in a way where i was like a super fan at a really really early age and i heard it and i was like oh this is why people love music like so that that was like my moment for me mm -hmm. where i like really fell in love with music Russell, i just want y'all to y'all vibe out with me real quick they got the right idea they got the right idea Let's try to sit out. Oh yes, I made it alive. They should drive me to paradise. In this moment of mine, I can't recognize. I see that the blood is white. And with two compromise, I almost died. Now the one is red as mine. Aye, aye, yeah. How you lonely in a room with God? Never slow up, not even a pissed stop. Praying my niggas will never get caught. Overcame it all against a big shot. To be an end on to the wristwatch Should I call a shirt tuck with the front part Get out of adolescence when it go your album Care For Me was celebrated by many big outlets last year, uh, got many mentions um, for best rap albums of 2018. Um, for people who haven't listened to this project, what's your best way of describing the album? I don't know, I think music now is so like, I don't know that there's any like review that I read 
of anything that lately it? that no that made me like I'm gonna listen to that album now mm, so I wouldn't okay. know what like one sentence I can give to make somebody who is unfamiliar go listen to it but I don't know I think it's just yeah it's a super honest album somebody told me at a show yesterday that uh it German German kid he's okay. like you know, I, I hang out with my friends every day and I honestly feel like I know you more than I know some of them just because of some of the stories that you share through the music. And I think that's always been a big part of why I love doing music. Like it is it is that creative outlet for me where I'm mm -hmm. really like opening up myself in a way that not a lot of people do. And it's, it's a very vulnerable album, but a very honest, a very human uh, a soundscape, if yeah. you will. So, looking back, um, how was the writing process of that project? Because you tackle a lot of painful topics in this yeah. album. You, you talk about your insecurities. Uh, you talk about girls. You talk about dating some type of the wrong girls, but you uh -huh. also date them when you're unhappy. So, it's a lot of interesting, reflective uh, topics that you um, take on. Do you put pen to paper or do you spill straight into the mic? I, I definitely put pen to paper. Pen to paper. Yeah. But writing an album like like this is always easier for me. Uh, because it comes from pain? It, 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 yeah. As much as that like sucks to say, mm. it's always easier. Uh, and it's, it's less of a thought process. Like I'm not thinking conceptually. Like how am I going to make this song good or how, is, how am I going to make this metaphor? Like I kind of just... This is on my mind, and I kind of just spit it out. Know. Yeah, so it's 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 a lot easier. Like, we made the album pretty quickly compared to me making any other music. Yeah, because you also said it's you consider it your most cohesive project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why is that? So, what is is was the bucket list not cohesive or other work? No, I, thought, I think uh, I think even my early projects are pretty cohesive, but. Just in comparison, yeah. you know, I don't like to compare others people's like albums to like their prior work. So I don't want to do it to myself too much, exactly. but just like it just is, you know, mm -hmm. they're they're facts still mm -hmm. to it. And uh, I think by making the album in such a short amount of time, mm -hmm. all of the ideas musically and lyrically are just so like concise in a way that I had never worked before. Like I always thought it would take at least a year to make an album yeah. so this was a album that we made excuse me and we didn't have a year to make it so it just naturally let's do it running away running away i just got tired of running away running away Everyone leaving, I write them away, write them away. Then y'all know y'all part now. Y'all can get loud on that, let's go. Write it away, write it away. I just got tired of running away, write it away. Everyone leaving, I write them away, write it away. This is what I want to hear. I want y'all to hear this one. Let's go. Run, 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 You also produce yourself, correct? I do. Yeah. I do. Um, Me along with uh, two other two yeah, other guys. Exactly.
you produced on fellow Chicago rapper, poet, no names, very beautiful project, Telephone. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah. produced the... That was already two, two years, three years ago? Three now, yeah. Yeah, 2016, so you were yeah. 22 then? Yeah. <laughs> That's like pretty amazing to have such a beautiful producing credit on there. I mean, I think it's... Yeah, that's probably my favorite production credit so far, okay. yeah. Can you, like, tell me how that... How did that relationship come about? It's just Chicago people coming together, or...? Uh, I met No Name through one of my friends in our, our clique, Pivot Gang, yeah. uh, Fresh Waters. He was, like, the social one who was always out and about and just had a bunch of friends and still is that way. Uh, but he met no name okay and no name needed a place to record mm -hmm. i had a studio in chicago okay so that's kind of how that happened i met her when i was 16 and i was recording a bunch of her songs then and producing for it then so by the time from 16 to 22 we have like an understanding and a in a work relationship exactly. that's like uh i don't know almost unparalleled as far as like people that I work with like yeah it's a luxury to have such a human connection yeah. like, at such a young age and then actually working and producing together yeah so yeah. it was cool a telephone was a it was a long time coming but I'm glad we I was I was glad to be a part of it in that way because I knew she wanted to make that project for yeah. years and years and years so it was cool that I was able to you know contribute how yeah, it was manifest yeah. It. yeah can you explain your relationship with Felix 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 I met kind of randomly uh because I, I had a show in 2015 and the piano player that i normally was working with at that time couldn't make the show okay and uh i kind of just reached around trying to see who we could get and felix is who ended up filling in for the show okay and uh yeah, he just you smile he, a lot right now. <laughs> yeah, he because it's a, it's really crazy that this is how it happened. Like he came to my house one day, because mm -hmm. uh, he left before I paid him. Oh. So yeah, he he left before I paid. So he came to my house and I was I was just about to pay him, mm -hmm. and then instead of leaving immediately, he kind of like stuck around. We played some video games and we chilled for a minute. And then we ended up making music together. Okay. And that was kind of the. Uh, that was the shift. That's how Bucket List Project happened. That's how Telephone happened. That's how a lot of Smino records happened. That's mm -hmm. how a lot, like, a lot changed by just mm -hmm. my piano player not being able to make the show. And that like was it's how, meant to be. Yeah, right, right. And that was how, that's how Felix ended up working with me on Telephone. Because okay. a lot of the joints that, all of them, all of the joints that I did on Telephone, Felix co-produced with me. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, so we were just making everything together at that point. Okay. Yeah. What are you looking for in a producer for your own music? What What is like very important for you to say, okay, I'm gonna work with him? A mutual respect, I think, is the most important thing working with really anybody. Okay. Because you have to be able to not have like a hierarchy in making the songs. Like, I don't wanna work with like some huge big time producer who's telling me all of my ideas are bad and I don't want to work with somebody who I think all of their ideas are bad at the same time, you know? So it's like a mutual respect. Like, even if it is a huge producer, you want to be a, a mutual respect because yeah. music isn't about status, you know? It's about making the best product and making the most honest product. And sometimes, sometimes the artist doesn't want it to be the prettiest or most you know, grand production ever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's supposed to be raw and you got to trust the artist. So I think looking for a producer, like it's really like a mutual trust thing. Like you mm -hmm. have to really, you know, be able to, to, to yeah. trust somebody, you yeah. know, and that's, I don't know. I think ultimately that's going to be the most important thing as far as like developing that artist to produce a relationship. Okay. Cause you can work with any producer, but excuse me. It's like, shall I wait? I'm going to wait. Part of uh, what you do. <laughs> right, right. But you can work with any producer, but it's it's different when when you have that mutual respect because it'll just change the product. Like, yeah, and probably uh, you can share more openly and more trustingly if yeah. there's like no ego involved. Yeah, you know? and that's how it has to be if you're in a, if you're in the studio to create something. Like you got to be able to 
state your opinions and yeah. that's that's the thing that with Dede and Dao don't care for me we were all able to do and with Felix on telephone and Felix on bucket list we were all like always able to do so yeah that's you know always been a thing that's important to me Russell, let me hear y'all make some noise <laughs> Y'all are fucking amazing. Y'all are very, 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 very beautiful crowd. Can I be honest for a second? This is the most black people I've seen at a show in Europe. This is only, this is only show number three. But as a black man, I am very excited to see some fellow black people in the show. I know we're in Europe. But it still excites me, like, hey, black person. Makes me feel like I'm at home. <laughs> let's, uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it, Dan. Let's get right into it. Shut us up. Right away. You pressed up, got you, you forgotten what's up, what's what a reminder Just a poor real all us Look at how much fun I'm having Ain't no beauty in the absence of broadcasting to you I see us so left you naked I see obsessive behavior I see famous people I don't want no heart to grab I just wanna follow back Maybe tag to you Play back, say that that's just the way that the game go After the rain, it's a rainbow I see a product you paid for Chick and forgotten a day for If I can log in, they start in the room And then I can shot like a dead go I don't walk without my headphones I don't got cable in my crib I don't need no hobby, got to give Being independent is my kid Government look like the mock fit Since I ran out what you watching And the dad turned me into the man I just look solitary More than a game with your car Can't change the channel, it'll stay in a uh heart -huh. Stay in the public and pray to your God Need validation, I'm too insecure Characters define 140, 280 A post to your story, I'm from the 290 Two sides to each story I'll be your friend, but you can now follow me If you pressed out, got you, give a guy It wasn't for but a reminder Just help over us uh, 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 uh. Look at how much fun I'm having Ain't no beauty in the absence of our captain to your if you could curate the XXL freshman cipher, you curate it. Which five artists would you pick to go bar for bar with? And if I can make a small suggestion, you have to put a female vocalist or MC in there. You can uh, choose. I was gonna do that regardless. Okay. Uh, five. Okay, wait. I'm picking five people that you're sparring with as well. Oh, so I'm so I'm the sixth. Okay. You're, you're the sixth. Uh, all right. Can it be somebody who was already in one? It's your, you're curating it. So this they is like, you, uh, Sabah, they don't have to be like a new artist. This could be anybody. This can be anybody. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> let me think about this now because this changes. It probably doesn't change that much. Uh, I'm gonna do it quick because I don't want to think about it that much and yeah. then be like, why didn't I put that person here? No name, Smino, Jid, uh, Damn, I said I was gonna do it quick. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, Mick Jenkins. Uh, and. You can put somebody big in there as well. You never know who shows up. Nah, we're better than all of the big people. <laughs> okay. That's, scary. That's, scary. That's, scary. That's what we want. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Go Okay. We gonna put Drake in there just because that would be so fucking hilarious. That would be very interesting. <laughs> Imagine No Name, Smino, JID, Mick Jenkins, Saba, and then Drake on the other side of the room. I want to see that. <laughs> I want to see that. I That'd be pretty that. funny. Brussels, are y'all having a good time up there? Uh, like I said, I'm from the west side of Chicago. So it's only right that we uh, bring a piece of the west side to Brussels. So I'm gonna do this song about being from the west side of Chicago and y'all are gonna go crazy. 
I don't care if you've heard the song, I don't care if you've never heard the song. Right now we all family and we all about to go crazy. So Brussels, are you guys ready? That was very fucking impressive. I've never met you before, but I'd like to shake your hand. Damn, let's do it. And I'm from the part of the city that they don't be talking about. Hey, I stole my crib on my house. Hey, Madison, Madison, middle school, graduate, could have been trafficking, but I'm a better than my uncle had it. My hands in the sky like a Jesse Ray backflip. Brussels, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. And I'm from the part of the city that they don't be talking about. Hey, I stole my grandma in my house. Hey, Madison, Madison, middle school, graduate, could have been trafficking, but I would rather do better than my uncle had it. My hands in the sky like a Jesse, my backwheel. Step on the pallet, promise my mama I turn it to pallets. My granny house is right by Wallace's corner, but no one be home when it's three loads. He run when you watch him, I spray hit the corner. Hey, and now I no longer eat no one. Used to who's dating, he thought he was running. He went on a high school, but dropped out of junior. I went on the college, he went on a shooter. Went on a juvie, I went on a tour. Hey, bicycle with the two sitting with well, a few was a real trigger. We were what side of block you rapping? Yo, where up? How to keep it separate? I lost some fingers to some weapons. That's why I'm walking like a welcome. Can I see the hell by the ass? Just a point on the curb. We blinded like an eye patch to your boys in the hearse. Hey, where the west side at? Shot the belly, shot the neck. Hey, shot the kids, let me shine. I know you were born in the birds. Let's go. What side of the Bills, let's go. What side of the Bills, let's go. What side of the Ooh, let's go, what's up? Hey, hey, and I'm from the part of the city that they don't be talking about. Hey, I gave them a sign of the meaning. I took it to the Europeans. The police defining on freedom. I'll probably be in a riddle. Honestly, got it just like I'm running this. Honestly, y'all should have restarted twisted. They brought out what I need you on this one. I'll send this shit ironic right that's instead of lying. Be on the poverty line. My mother was on his outside. Z money told me it's mine. I got the bus up a pound. I said my word of a time. Track of what I am, not that moment. Let's go, what's up? Hey, okay. and I'm from the part of the city that they don't be talking to. Brussels make some fucking noise. Thank y'all so fucking much. I enjoy every moment that I just shared on stage with y'all so much. Brussels, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. My name is Sambo. Is it crucial? to be able to freestyle on the spot if you call yourself an MC in American hip hop culture? I don't think so. You don't think so, why? Uh, Cause that's not what everybody, everybody does. Yeah. Like I, any freestyle that you've seen from me was never off the top of my head. It's pre -written. It might've been, yeah, something that was freshly written and maybe I didn't know it as well. But I think the notion that if you can't freestyle, you're not, I don't know, it just doesn't, it's not, it's not true. Cause some people like, there's some people who are amazing freestylers, mm -hmm. just straight off the top mm -hmm. and can't make a song to save their life and mm -hmm. vice versa. There are people mm -hmm. who just have to write and they can't freestyle to save their life. Yeah. But I think it's really just a different brain process. You know, you, mm -hmm. you're using a different energy when you're trying to be quick and come up with things like, true. and my brain just don't work like that. Yeah, I, <laughs> it I just doesn't. Wonder, yeah. I always wonder because I look yeah. at certain artists and I'm like, well, is this off the top of their head? And then I wonder, like, do it's yeah. something that I always wondered, and I do understand everything you said. Like yeah. sometimes you're a very good songwriter, sometimes you're just very yeah. witty and quick, and sometimes that's the thing about that's the thing about freestyling is I think like. It's like nobody shoots 100% from the line with a freestyle. Mm -hmm. Like it's like you could spit the most amazing freestyle, mm -hmm. and then your next one, hopefully, is not on camera. But your next one could be complete trash. Yeah. And it's like I don't think because of that that should take away from your skill or your you know the okay. fact that you're called an MC. You know you still you still doing your thing. Mm -hmm. You know you're just not freestyling. You know? Tell me something about Pivot Gang. I understand the name references a Friends episode. Friends episode. But yeah. what can you share about that for people who may not really know what Pivot Gang is about? Yeah. Uh, Pivot Gang is like our it's our crew in Chicago. Uh, it's 
I don't know. It's, it's crazy to think of, of how, how far it's come. And like you said, it was based off of a Friends episode in 2010 or 2011. We came up with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, my older brother, my cousin, uh, and then our friends from like childhood, really, like we've all been together for years and years and years now. So we've just been making music. We just finished the Pivot Gang album, so that should be coming out soon. Okay. Uh, when? And you know how rappers go soon. Yeah, I know. You know it can mean anything. That's why I asked but it's done, so okay. it'll probably probably when we get off of tour. 2019. Like 2019, definitely. Safe answer. Definitely. 2019, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Pivot Gang. A lot a lot more to come from the Pivot Gang. Okay. Uh, I make it my job to every time ask about female artists in the game. Um, mm -hmm. Who are the girls or women uh, that you listen to right now, whether they are vocalists or MCs, but you actually listen to them? No Name, John Doe, Tierra Whack, uh, Carrie Foe. Oh, I don't know her. Get in tune. Carrie Foe. Okay. Carrie Foe. Uh, let's see. Mariba? You answer for me. Mariba, boom. That's a, that's a dope list. That's yeah. a good list. Thank you so much. Okay, my last question is the only gimmick question I have. I ask it to all the artists that I meet. If I say Belgium, what three words pop in your head? And it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, but what three words immediately pop in your head? Brussels, waffle, Belgium. I don't know. Those are really the only two things that I know about Belgium. Chocolate. Belgium. <laughs> uh, is that a thing? Belgium chocolate? Belgium chocolate, sprouts, beer. Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are actually from Brussels? They're actually from here. That's hilarious. Yeah. Tell you be okay, tell you be okay. Tell you she like 
Thank you so much, brothers. I'm sorry. 